Let's take a look at the pedigree of grand champion Irish Jerry's We Hunt. When we talk about Honey Bunch Dogs I think this one gets overlooked the most Irish Jerry and a Crenshaw collaboration. Champion Crenshaw's Honey Bunch Rom direct daughter of Bully Sun and Carver's Amber. Carver's Amber off champion Carver's Cracker and Trey Hands Beauty T a great representation of the Dibo Corvino dogs. Oh yeah and don't forget about Williams a very pivotal breeder in the 1940s and 50s. Grand champion Trey Hands Rascal and Carver's Black Widow making Trahan's Beauty T Trahan's Beauty T bred to champion Carver's Cracker. Honey Bunch grandparents again to stellar Bulldogs Baudroxes Spook and Baudroxes Eli. Baudros Eli will go on to make a platter of of good dogs and bloodlines. Even though there are no really true heavy bred Eli dogs. Eli's name was so famous it is time that people would throw any blind Billy Tudor's Dibo under that umbrella even to this day. Although the bloodline stand alone there are many variations Grand Champion Hanson's Red Man Champion Hazel's Arizona Pete and many many other great dogs that stand in the back of Baudroxes Eli. I wouldn't say Bully Sun is my favorite but he for sure is the most recognized or damn they're close to it. Irish Jerry's Trim Moody directly off of Pa Shorty and Paul Sugar. A product of a brother and sister breeding. Which came off another brother and sister breeding or days smaller and Paul's Candy both sire and damn to Shorty and Sugar making this blood extremely tight. Maller and Candy also littermate brother and sister off or days Orlando in or days Pat. You can bet your bottom dollar that this practice of inbreeding set trends for decades to come. Good blood is where you find it and if you find a good honey bunch dog that has the gene to produce hold on to that specimen. Many many stories I've been told about grand champion Irish Jerry's we hunt. This is one that I always keep in mind when I talk to old timers that were around when these dogs roamed the earth. The Kobe and Corvino line have been used for over 130 years in American and with the education about keeping these animals and breeding practices I believe this line will be around for another 130 years. Champion Charlie Lloyd's Pilot. Born 1878 off Smalls Billy and Darby's Kit. If you look up this fine animal you will see that most of the pedigree is unknown. But the pedigrees did not just start from there. These animals have been around longer than most of us know or even can believe. If you look hard enough you will see images of these wonderful animals. And they resemble the dogs of today. It's always a debate who has the best dogs in America or overseas. The truth is the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. I think they are all the same although one man's yard can be totally different from the next even if you started off with the same blood from the beginning. At the end of the day you are breeding thing for the treats that you like and he is breeding for the traits that he likes. And if you to like different things that will be the beginning of evolution and how the two bloodlines split apart and make their own name. Cooper's Captain A dog shown in England can be found far far back and Kobe Pincher's pedigree. I got some good news and some bad news. The bad news is that this video is nearing its conclusion and the good news is we have plenty more videos. So please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. We are bringing real knowledge. Not like those other channels reading out of a book. Psych I'm just kidding I subscribe to all those channels also they are a part of the community thanks for watching.